Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be going through the bandsaw and how we use it in the design and technology workshop. Bandsaws are used for both straight cutting and for cutting curves. A bandsaw has a thin, flexible, endless blade with cutting teeth on one edge. The blade is stretched over two pulleys, the upper one being idle. The lower one driven by an electric motor. Working together, the blade runs through a hole in the workable table and down the enclosed side. Before we begin working on our bandsaw, there are some expectations that we must follow. The wearing of safety glasses when operating the bandsaw is an expectation. The wearing of earmuffs during this time is required when using the bandsaw for long periods. To operate the bandsaw, pressing firmly on the green button will turn the machine on. Pressing firmly on the large mushroom red button will turn the machine off. For safety reasons, our bandsaw is fitted with an emergency stop. The emergency stop is fitted at knee height, so in the case of emergencies, we can use our leg to turn the machine off. To ensure the safety of our respiratory system, an extraction unit has been fitted to our bandsaw. The extraction unit removes the dust and debris, filtering and collecting it to be disposed of properly. Serious injuries can occur to the operator's hands if they slip during the cutting process or if they are cutting too close to the blade. To ensure the safety operation of the bandsaw, yellow lines indicate the hands-free zone required at all times. A fence is attached to the table of the bandsaw to ensure safe, straight cuts. An adjustable guard is provided to ensure that only a maximum of 3mm above your work can be exposed to blade. This can be adjusted to suit your work by using the spindle on the side of the machine. Before you begin work on the bandsaw, ensure that all debris is removed from the table. Ensure you have on your safety glasses and make sure you have access to hearing protection. Ensure you have on no tie or jewellery that may get caught in the machine. No rings, watches or jewellery are to be worn. Set the height of the guard using the side spindle to lower the guard down. A maximum of three millimetres above material needs to be met. Make sure that your material fits all the way around the guard. We first need to identify the line of cut provided on the table. Using that we can line up our work and ensure that we are in line with the blade. Before we turn on the machine ensure that our hands are outside of the yellow line and we have access to a push stick if required. I'm now going to demonstrate how to cut on the bandsaw. Once you have successfully completed your cut, please ensure you turn off the machine, wait for it to stop, and then grab your off cut. When making curved cuts, it is important that we provide relief cuts. Relief cuts are typically straight lines that begin from the outside edge to the point where we stop. Cutting these lines first will allow little pieces of our curve to break away. This will allow for a safe cut. To create a relief cut, we must cut slowly into our timber and then reverse our timber straight back. stopping at the line. This will allow for us to cut that curve
allowing for small pieces to be removed. Please ensure all offcuts make their way into the closest bin. Thank you for watching my video on the bandsaw. See you next time.